can you put into words what Tom Brady is doing right now? <laughs> no, I, I don't know that. <laughs> I don't know that anybody can. I, I'm a I'm a huge fan of Tom's. I have been for a long, long time. I love the way he plays the game. Uh, I, I, I said it during the postseason when we had. We had Tampa and New Orleans uh, with Drew Brees and Brady, and I just think that there's a lot to learn watching those guys play the position. And for Tom, he just knows situations. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I think it's a lost art to, to some degree uh, because we're in this kind of fantasy world to where it's all about numbers and throwing the football and – Everybody points to st- statistics uh, to determine, you know, how somebody's doing. But I think that, you know, Brady obviously has the numbers, but he just knows what's required in virtually every situation uh, to give his team the best chance to win. And nobody's won at a higher level more than him, of course. And uh, it's remarkable. I mean, it, it really is. And I think that what what Bruce Arian said after the NFC Championship game. I thought was really telling. He said it just took one man. We needed one man to show us how to do it. And and I think that's taken away from the staff and certainly Bruce Arians. But the point was well taken that Brady came in and immediately gave that team a belief. And I think franchise quarterbacks do that. Uh, Patrick Mahomes has done that for Kansas City. You know, we can go through the list. Aaron Rodgers with Green Bay, Drew Brees with New Orleans. But, you know, that's what Tampa Bay needed. And they obviously have done a really good job assembling that roster. I thought week one when we had them against the uh, the Saints to open up the season that those two teams in the NFC were the most complete teams on both sides of the ball. <clears throat> and then for Tampa to be able to put it together when at one point at 7-5 and five it did not look good. They hadn't really – only Green Bay was a good team that they had beaten. And uh, they got on a roll at the end of the year, and then they played three real good teams in the postseason, great quarterbacks, Hall of Fame quarterbacks. And uh, we're really dominant. So it was uh, it was a fun fun year for us, for Fox, for me, to follow Tampa from week one all the way through to the end of the season and uh, watch them win it all. So, I mean, if you could bottle something, though, and say that, you know, to a kid coming out of college, here, drink this, because this is what Tom Brady uh, has, right? Like, if you could somehow, some way, uh, boil that, conversation you know boil that point that you just made about he knows how to handle everything in the moment perfectly for for his teammates and and obviously he's not infallible we, we have seen him beaten sure. in regular and post seasons before but it just seems that you know we you know we I, I know about the fire that burns within and and the competitor that it does require to have a bust in the same room that you have one in in Canton Troy but what it, can you can you break it down for me in the, any of the XOs conversations you've had with Tom, uh, or just watching the film that you saw last night? Something that can actually uh, come up with a, a way to show Brady's greatness in the moment. Well, I think a great example of it, Rich, is in the NFC Championship game that we had against the Packers. Mm-hmm. They had a five-point lead. They're right on the verge. They're, they're right within field goal range. I mean, it, it, they couldn't afford to take a sack. And, and I commented on it before the snap of the ball that, you know, Brady cannot take a sack. He knows that better than anybody, right? Because I know how – I just know how his mind works and how he's not going to make a mistake like that in that area, knowing how important those three points were. Well, the ball snapped. And immediately he has a free rusher in his face, and he just throw. He doesn't try to get away from him. He doesn't try to, you know. He just immediately throws it at the receiver's feet, and it, 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 to a lot of people it looked odd. You know, like wow, he, you know, almost as though there was a penalty or a false start on the play. The ball came out that fast, and it was just a great example of him just not going to risk taking a sack and taking his team out of field goal range, knowing how important those three points were, and. And it's little things like that within the game. I, I, I've said many times that when when you start a game as a quarterback, when you're playing in a in a zero zero game, or if in the fourth quarter you're playing with a with a seven point lead or a ten point lead or a five point de- all those things, you play the game differently. You don't you don't take the same risks. 
You understand how your defense is playing. And all of that has to, as a quarterback, all of that has to be factored in as, as to what you then have to do as the quarterback of the team to try to move the football or to try to come away with points or just simply not lose it. And I just feel that there's, there's a lot of, there's a, the, the, that art, I don't know, I don't know how much of that is truly coached. Um, whereas when you're talking about guys, you know, that are successful on a consistent basis. And since we're talking about Tom Brady, you know, those guys that he understands it, he understands those little nuances and gives his team the best chance to win in, in every given situation. We saw that from Peyton Manning throughout his career. Uh, it's, uh, as, as a, as a former player, uh, it's something that I've always admired about Tom Brady and the way that he plays the game. And, and, uh, and I love watching it on display. And uh, he's just a really smart, headsy player, a guy who doesn't move particularly well, never has. Uh, but yet he's been so efficient in being able to get the most out of, 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 of his ability and, and be uh, in, you know, I said it after he won his fifth Super Bowl, the, the best that's ever done it. And it's hard to imagine that anybody's ever going to be able to do it better. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.